Welcome back for our regular check in with the Pacific Coast Business Times on their recent reporting. Today, we're talking with Jorge Mercado about an article that he's written on Coast Hills Credit Union. Jorge, good to see you. Coast Hills is well established in our area. Now they're looking to expand their reach. They took a big step toward possibly serving more people recently from outside the area. How are they doing it? Yeah, no, definitely. So they have 12 branches here in the area and they're not looking to expand by adding more branches just yet. They actually got a federal designation so they could actually help more people. So before they could only help people that lived, worshipped or worked here in Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, Monterey, Ventura and Santa Cruz counties. Well, now let's say you're from L.A., you're driving up the coast and you like what Coast Hills has to offer. Well, you can go into that credit union and actually have them help you. Typically, that wasn't an option before if you were outside of those five counties. So it's definitely a big deal in the way that you actually get to, you know, see or people outside can seek a credit union here in the area. And that's going to help a ton. That's awesome. Does this change anything for current Coast Hills credit union customers? No, absolutely nothing changes at all. And it might, in fact, it might make it easier. Let's say you live in Santa Maria, Santa Barbara. You have a family member in Minnesota and they want to, they, they've always liked your credit union, Coast Hills. Well, now they can get involved as well. Um, it really only, I think, helps people. It doesn't really hurt anyone or it doesn't change anything for anyone because um, it's, it's just the same. It's just a federal designation. And, you know, although they're not looking to expand just yet, it's something that they could do with this move now. They can go into any county across the country. Um, that doesn't mean they're going to do anything right now. They're, they seem really intent on just helping the people here, but something to look out for. Okay, so right now there are 12 branches, and as you say, no, they're not adding any more branches, at least not yet. Yeah, no, right now they're, uh, you know, Paul Cook, their CEO, he was very intent on saying that he just wants to help the people that are still here and reach a little bit more. I mean, you know, California is such a huge place. I think we all know that, those of us that live here. And so being able to help, I mean, up and down the state is already enough for now, I think. Yeah, so converting from a state chartered credit union to a federally chartered credit union, as you write, no longer limits them to serving clients who live, work, or worship in the tri-counties plus Monterey and Santa Cruz. You also write they've been growing at a steady clip leading up to this move. Business is good for them. Yeah, you know, they're the second largest uh, credit union here in the county, a uh, locally owned credit financial institution here in the, in the Central Coast entirely. Um, they have one, more than $1.79 billion in assets. Um, I think they've grown by over 700 uh, million since Cook has uh, gotten there in 2018. So they've definitely been growing. I think they viewed this as the next step, and that's why the board of directors voted to accept this approval, uh, accept this proposal, and move forward from here. Okay, and a lot of benefits to being a member of a credit union. I think there are people that don't realize that. So this will be an interesting article for them to read. Yes, we'll post a link to it on our website, and you can check it out on the Pacific Coast Business Times as well. Jorge, thank you. Thanks, Jorge. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.